Jared usually has bed hair. To mm. find a perfect little way. <laughs> you having fun? Mm -hmm. Gross! <laughs> Uh, good morning. <laughs> hey, I wasn't supposed to be up this morning. It's true. Yeah. But you always cover. <laughs> Thanks, baby. So, we are headed to Fraser, mm -hmm. And this guy's sweating because he told me... I messed up. I think uh, the experiment I told her was today is tomorrow. Yeah. I... <laughs> you better use the crosswalk, Jared. Oh, I just... Jared! I was totally planning on using the crosswalk because that's how I get across the street. Oh, I watch you. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm aware of your tactics. Yes. Shoot. What was the peak of that one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ready and go. Just to get some context of the clip you just saw, uh, to set me up for this, they put the sensors all over my arms. Those are the EMG sensors that read the signal coming from my brain to my muscles. They're very sensitive. Even if the signal from my brain isn't strong enough to contract my muscle, it'll read the signal going to them. And then also there are motion sensors on my wrist. If I bend my wrist back like that, I'll get a weak grasp and that's not true hand function. So this will measure that so they know how much is coming from my wrist and how much is actually going to my hand. And you'll hear like David and Nicole who's sitting by the computer screens kind of warn Jared not to use his wrist as much because they can see that reading on the screens. 
And so they don't want him putting out like a false signal because his wrist is extended. Right. And they have a graph on that that shows that. So when they compare the data, they know how much my wrist is involved and how much is coming from my hands. What I'm trying to do is squeeze a force dynamometer that's in my hand that measures how strong I'm squeezing. And there's a graph in front of me that's a sine wave, it just goes up and down. And then you'll see my trace on top of that, of me trying to match that pattern. And then we do this experiment, we do it before with no stimulation. And then we do the experiment again with stimulation. And that's the transcutaneous stimulation where they're stimming the C4 and C8 vertebrae of my neck. And then we do it at the end with no stimulation, but to see how much carryover there is from the stimulation I got in the previous experiment. So that's... And with that, as he's squeezing, he's going up the art. And then when he releases, it goes down, I mean, yeah. just to kind of explain what you're doing. For sure. It's hard to see because it's very sensitive. So he's, you're not actually seeing him like... Right, make. you can't really see my fist like grasp and release. It, it's like she said, it's very sensitive. And then if you look on the monitor behind the one closest to me, you'll see some of the EMG output. That that's basically my brain si signal going to my muscles and what what's going on there. And actually, the top one is the uh, the sensor on my wrist, letting you know how much movement there is on my wrist. So that was that was one of our experiments this week, and it was pretty interesting. So I thought we'd put that out there. Yeah, and then the other lady that you see in the videos is Erin, who is yeah. Jared's OT. Yeah, she's been my OT for quite a few years now. Um, Her main uh, function in this particular experiment is to make sure that your hand or your thumb is placed in the same position. Right, the, the position of the hand dynamo dynamometer uh, in, in my hand. Is, is her main focus and then also watching the kinematics or, or how my body is moving making sure my wrist stays still and that kind of stuff so that was that was the experiment this week if you guys have any questions about it hit us up in the comments there's a lot more to come so he's, yeah he's had experiments all week and I just made it to that one today but I think we plan on going to a lot more here in the near future. Yeah, David, who is the, the French guy you can hear in the videos, he's the lead, uh, the principal inv investigator on this, and he's got a lot more in store for me in the next couple of weeks. Um, next week I have some interesting ones that we're going to try to record. So hopefully you guys will get to see some of that. But uh, go ahead and email us at positivelyparalyzed at gmail.com if you have any questions about any of this. Obviously hit us up in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe and thanks for watching Bye Bye